find the formal charge for each element here in AlCl3, aluminum chloride, we'll use this Lewis structure here and then this equation. So let's do the chlorine first. Chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A on the periodic table. So chlorine on the periodic table, seven valence electrons. We'll subtract from that the unbonded valence electrons. These are the electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. So we have two, four, six of these. From that, we'll subtract one half of the bonded electrons. These are the ones right here. They're involved in a chemical bond. They're between the chlorine and the aluminum. That's the bond. So two of those divided by two, seven minus six minus one, that equals zero. So the formal charge on chlorine is zero. Since all the chlorines here, they're identical, we can put a formal charge of zero on those as well. Next, let's do the aluminum. So you might notice that aluminum has two, four, six valence electrons. It is an exception to the octet rule. So six, that's okay. So we'll put aluminum here. Aluminum's in group 13, sometimes called 3A on the periodic table, three valence electrons minus unbonded. All of these electrons here are involved in chemical bonds. So this is zero. Subtract one half of the bonded electrons, two, four, six. So three minus three, that's zero. So the formal charge on the aluminum in AlCl3 is zero. You might have been tempted to try to form some kind of double bond here between the aluminum and the chlorine to give the aluminum an octet. If you do that, you'll find that your formal charges are not zero. And when we have zero formal charges, that tells us this is the most favorable Lewis structure for AlCl3. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for AlCl3, aluminum chloride. Thanks for watching.